Hello and welcome back to Spyro the Dragon. And now we shall fight Toasty. Or confront him. Gotta be, pl gotta be uh, pleasant about it, I guess. Ooh, intimidating already. Interesting fact about Toasty, which I shall tell you when we get to him. Oh god! Uh. Most difficult enemy in the game to get around sometimes. Wait, how do you roll? Am I doing this right? Okay, so Q does that. Then where's the other key? Did I bind this correctly? Ah, yes. Never mind. Never mind. I'm just a bit of an idiot right now. I couldn't decide which button to press. But basically, the best thing to do is ugh, walk out of the way when these guys try to kill you because you're not really gonna do good by rolling. Ugh, damn dogs! Ugh. I swear I didn't gain a phobia of dogs from this hit from the early ages by this. I swear, but I do have a phobia of big dogs like this one. Yeah, these guys aren't nice. And they take two hits to kill, which is abnormal for any game in Spyro. Since most enemies are just killed with a hypersonic flame, whatever it is. And it's weird how also if you flame, the flame is from your mouth, not from where you just breathed it. Whatever you pronounce it. And while this music is a bit loud, you know what? Yeah, that should work. Oh my god, it's loud. Hey, not much jumping. Oh, what? Oh, first death in the game. Urgh. Piss off. Yeah, 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 skip through the level because you don't need to kill them again once you've already killed them. But did it? Yeah, there's no four in the boss level, so you're pretty much fucked if you can't get through it. If you can't get through without being hit, without like avoiding being hit for the maximum amount, you're fucked. Well, I did kill that dog, didn't I? Yeah, okay. Continuing on to Nevin. Weird name. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. This boss has many tricks up his sleeve. They even have the decency to break the fourth wall and call him a boss. Well, they already did, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, jump. And that is Toasty himself. Weird name for someone in such a tear of clothing. Hold on. Let's just burn him. Oop. What was that? A, a little sneak peek at what he really is. No! Damn it! Uh, he got me again. Piece of shit dogs. That's right, I'm gonna be hammering that cute that Q key. What? Oh, screw you, f fuck you, Fido. And if you burn him again, he's revealed to be a sheep. Sparrow's arch nemesis, sheep. And Nasty Knox, most devious henchman. Is a sheep with cowbell ears. Let's see if he puts up a fight. Yes, he can. And this guy is also featured in the tr in the adverts of Spyro, if I can recall. Like how he was always killing the sheep. But anyway, yeah, get owned, you woolly fuck. And let's get the final few gems and.
100% boss level toasty, let's leave. And away from the dogs. No, seriously, go fuck yourself, dogs. I'd also like to remind you that this is not a child friendly channel, even though I'm playing child friendly games, which is the objective, but I rage, okay? Oh, a little bit of an error is sometimes Sparks doesn't actually change colour when he's in the middle of eating. But anyway. Oh, gotta do this again. <laughs> Sunny flight. I shall see you all next time.